Hello friends. So today I'm going to show you how to use Kahoot and Google Meet. I'm going to show you teacher and student perspective and I'm also going to show you how to split your screen using the desktop and also an iPad. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create an account with Kahoot. It is a great website. Kids love it and they are also learning. They have plenty of categories such as history, science, math, you name it, they have it. So I'm going to click on login. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Kahoot. So if you're looking for a particular game, you could create your own game first off or you could just choose from the categories that they have. You could go ahead and type in history if you like and this is where you would type in. But I'm going to go to favorites and I'm going to access one of my favorite games. And here it is, the first one, movies. I'm going to click on play. I'm going to click on teach. I'm going to click on classic because I want each of my students to answer the question individually. So the music is going to come on. I'm going to click here to mute the music. Now what I want to do is I want to split my screen because not only do I want to see who joins the game, I also want to see who's in the meet. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to drag the meet browser over to my right and I'm going to leave the Kahoot on my left. So this is the teacher's perspective. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the student perspective. But before I show you what it looks like on the student perspective, I want to present my entire screen to the students so that they'll be able to view the question and also answer. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right in a few minutes. So now we are in the student's perspective and there's two things you want your students to do. You want them to log into Kahoot and you also want them to accept your Meet invitation. So let's start off with the Meet invitation. I'm going to click on my Gmail since my teacher sent out an invite via email. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to meeting. I'm going to for the sake of this video, I'm going to mute my speaker and also my video. I'm going to join. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Chrome and I am going to type in the words Kahoot, pin, login. So students don't need to create an account in order to participate. I'm going to click on the first tab and I'm going to enter the pin number that the teacher provided so I could access the game. Enter. Students have a choice to use their own name or nickname. I prefer my students to use their name in case I want to award any incentive. I know who to give the incentive to. Okay. I'm in. All right. How do I split my image? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go to the bottom of the iPad. So I'm a student using an iPad and I'm going to slide my finger up. I'm going to click on meet since I'm already on Chrome with Kahoot. I'm going to click on meet and I'm going to drag. Have to be very gentle. I'm going to drag the icon to the side. And there you have it. My image is split. Now I'm going to turn my iPad landscape. 
now I'm in the teacher's perspective and so here we have the teachers meet the student and myself I'm presenting so I will appear two two times and then here if I wanted to using the grid extension I'll be able able to see all my students but this that's another video so this is the game I'm going to go and start the game I can see there's one player and that should be me as a student so what's the name of the movie the student answered you could see that the student answered correctly um, there's only one student so it will stop quickly but the game will not stop until all the students have answered the, the question so then I click on next it tells me here that G got the answer correct so she has 910 points let's do one more question what's the name of the movie I'm going to go ahead and click as a student. The student got it correct. Move on. G got it correct. Okay, great. Now I'm going to show you what the student is viewing. The student's perspective. So my iPad right now is landscape and the student can view Kahoot on the left and read the question using Google Meet on the right. So I'm going to go and click on the next question so that you can see what the student is viewing. What's the name of the movie? So there goes the image. I'm going to go And my answer was incorrect. So it will show me that the student didn't receive any points in the teacher's view. And you can see it up here. One last question. What is the name of this movie? I received 783 points. Click on next. And the points has have been added. And there you have it. This is the end of this video. I hope everyone enjoy and I hope this was useful.